Pen Profile It was impossible to write that letter to you back then, to tell you about myself and why I wanted to donate. Everything I put down sounded like I was writing a job application. And obviously I wanted to sound nice and normal, to be someone that people might choose, because the egg-sharing made a big difference to us financially, although of course I couldn't really say that. It wasn't the only reason, though. I did feel for anyone who was in the same position as us. I wondered whether you'd been trying for a long time as well, maybe for even longer than we had. Oh, all those years of hoping and crossing your fingers each month, feeling like it was going to break you down. Whether it drove you crazy that you couldn't turn around for someone announcing they were pregnant, and how you try so hard to be happy for them. And at the back of it all, that slow, sinking realisation that it might never happen for you. We probably went to the clinic for our transfers on the same day, didn't we? They tell you to have your bladder as full as possible for the ultrasound, but it was raining so hard and the whole world was drenched and sopping wet, which felt like torture. I thought that I maybe even saw you that day. I suppose you must look a bit like me if they matched us, dashing up the steps and shaking your umbrella, just as we walked out into the downpour. I'd always hated the two-week wait, but that time seemed the closest I'd ever been to actually having a baby, and it was unbearable. I watched the news obsessively, anything to stop myself thinking about whether or not I was pregnant. In the end, I don't know if it took my mind off it or wound me up more, the constant chatter about Brexit and the new Prime Minister, things that seem so long ago now. I thought about you waiting then too. All the time those lovely flowers you'd sent me to say thank you were in my window, dusting the air with pollen so that the whole house smelled like honey. And I suddenly realised I was so glad that you were out there, how it took the pressure off because for once everything wasn't hanging on my own test result. If it didn't work out for me, at least you'd still have a chance. But it did work out, thank God. And later, when they told me you'd had a little boy as well, I was over the moon for you. Kai came four weeks early, but every year I always think about your boy's birthday the next month. And often when I've shared pictures of Kai, I wondered if you're doing the exact same thing. Those very first photos when he was brand new, everyone proud and exhausted. Or him grinning in his high chair, his face smeared with mashed carrots or dressed up in tinsel and sheets for a nativity, or standing by the front door on his first day of school, all tiny in his uniform. And now he's stubbly and probably taller than you, about to head off to university or start work, and you can't believe where the time's gone. I do think of it more and more lately, with the boys about to turn 18, that your son might look me up. I'd be so curious to see him and I wonder how he and Kai would get on, if they'd be alike and have things in common. Well, he might decide not to, of course, and it's his choice. But if he ever did, I wonder if I'd get to meet you then, as well. And I imagine sometimes what it would be like. If we'd sit down and have a cup of tea and chat about all the years that have gone between. If you'd be different to how I've pictured you. And I think about how I had no idea what to say to you back then. But if I saw you now... Maybe we'd feel like we'd always known each other.